Today we're going to be going over all the releases set to drop this month in November and I'm excited because there are a lot of them, almost 20 different drops. So let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. The Air Jordan 1 Low OG Zion Williamson. So these right, right here are very interesting because they do look similar to that Cactus Jack vibe. Right. What do you think about these? I think it's a good looking shoe. What kind of vibe I would call it? Yeah, it's just a Cactus Jack shoe. Looks more like a Cactus Jack. So yeah. if this had the Travis Scott branding on it, you would say that it would probably be like a $1,200. The, the money would just go Go crazy. Okay, yeah. so retail on these is like 170 bucks or something like that. Put, I'm assuming they got like special packaging and everything. Yeah. But these are set to come out on the, at the beginning of the month. So we're going to see a lot of hype and demand behind that sneaker. Right, right. It's now, a good looking shoe. For the next one, I think for me is the immediate pass. Um, I'm interested to see your opinion on this one. We have the Air Jordan 9 boot. That's what I would the, call it, it's a boot. It's definitely a boot, so it has a boot bottom on it, a lot of traction, a lot thicker of a shoe. Um, it's more durable on the upper with the materials. Kind of giving you those olive vibes and you got the different colors with the Where shades. Where are you gonna wear that? Who hiking? It's you know it's more of a fall time sneaker. I don't no, know. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. So this right here is definitely gonna be a pass. Let's take it to the it says next a one. Fall time. It this fell off. Here, I think this is a women's drop only, if I'm not mistaken. It might be a men's drop, I don't know, but I feel like this is a women's drop. We got the Air Jordan 11, what's this colorway? The Midnight Navy with that velvet on the upper. We've seen this before in the past with like a burgundy version and stuff. Right. Now they're doing the same thing with the Navy on this shoe. I think it's a really clean shoe. That's a cop, for sure. And I think the value is gonna go up. Definitely, okay, so I'm interested <laughs> in that because with the women's 11s, they. They kind of like do all right and then they kind of sit and stay. So we shall see how that goes. But dudes goes. will wear them if they come in the right the sizes. The right sizes. But I think for us, they usually don't make these in the extended sizes. Yeah. So we never end up Is getting Is that what our shoe. size called? Extended sizes? Extended women sizes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's take it to the next one. <laughs> We got the Air Jordan 6 Chrome. Now these right here. Those this are was, sick. So the original, was well, not the original, but the first time they made this shoe was a low top version. Right. The black and chrome colorway. Right. I used to have these back in high school. I and then they came those. out and retroed again. And then now they have the high top version. So right. similar to the DMP with the black and gold, we now got the chrome version right here. So what Explain. would you rate these out of 10? They get the whole 10. 10 out of 10. I, that's I, what I was thinking. The I give them the whole 10 with the chrome on the back of the hill right there. And then the, they changed the bottom to a different color gummy. Yeah, that's a different more of like that blue transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More icy looking. Yeah. Yeah, this shoe is definitely a very, very oh, you clean can wear shoe. Those. What's the retail gonna be on these? Around 200 bucks retail on this shoe. So a lot of shoes have been going up in the retail price. I was gonna, they'll probably go up. Yeah. They'll so probably go up pretty quick. It's interesting with Jordan 6s, uh, sometimes 12s, but like 13s, Jordan 6s and 13s especially, like you'll see them kind of come out, they'll sit. And right. then later in time, that's when you'll see the shoe be like 350, 375 right. bucks, something like that. So I think this shoe, and I'm hoping. You think it's coming out, you said it's coming out at 200? I think that it's gonna sit and it's not gonna sell out. No, it's not gonna sit. I think what's gonna I happen, gonna sell out. you guys tell us later. Sit. I think what's gonna happen is it's gonna come out and it's gonna go straight to 250. Right, immediate. But but that's like the resale at the resale shop. Well, right? yeah. I think yeah, yeah. for a fact you'll be able to see this shoe come out and you're gonna be like going to your local foot lockers and, and stuff. And it'll still be there. And it'll still be on the shelves. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be like that, like, oh, if you're in a random city where you can't get the shoe, well, yeah, yeah obviously you're gonna have to pay the resale because they didn't right, get it at the right, shop. Right, right. But I think if you're in the major cities and you know, those big metro areas, like you're gonna be like, oh, it's gonna I be think gone. this should be. This I, should be I think easy. it's gonna be gone. He's saying it's gonna be. I don't know. We'll see what you guys <laughs> think down below in the comment section. Show us in the future. This one in particular, though, is a shoe that I'm really, really Really excited to add to my collection because I'm so hyped about um, now to the next one this is gonna be a set so we'll just kind of go through them one by one real quick this is right here the East Side Golf Air Jordan 1 high so this is actually with a golf bottom it doesn't have the actual spikes in it but it's got the golf traction right. on it so it's kind of got that brown tone to it Pass. The premium leathers it's got the different stuff with the Pass. logos and branding there's been a lot of hype behind this shoe but really? I'm a pass behind it. Not, oh, sorry, the collaboration. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna say it's a pass too. I'm not really a hundred percent like. And I think it. they blew it with that color, with the strings and that that switch. With the navy on there, with the. Yeah, okay. I think that's not right. What would you have done if they would have done something else? Not the shoe. None of it. None of that color. 
<laughs> they blurred okay. that color way. Okay, let's look at the low top version and see what you think about that. So this is the Eastside Golf low top. Now this is a retro low, not an OG cut low, so it's gonna be a little bit puffier around the ankle. That's angle. way nicer. These right here, looks like it's more of a suede, like a really thin way suede, nicer. like a nubuck or something on yeah. that upper with some wax laces. Yeah. Uh, the details with the stitching on the tongue, the Jordan uh, Wings logo on the front side and the little signature on the back. I think this is a very, very What's clean that on the hill? It's got like a little stripe on the back end uh, right here with the white. Way nicer shoe. Got like the, the sand and the, the grass on the insoles, yeah. different details like that. That right little, there. So this is like a, sw it's a swinging the man. Swing. And it's got like the gold chain on yeah. it and everything. So this is definitely a clean shoe. Let me know what you guys think about these down below that's in the comment cop. section. So that's a cop. That's a cop. Okay. Let's see about the, the other next one. This, no. This one right here is interesting because I'm still not sure how I feel about is this. Is that shoe. red and tan? What color is that? It's the same as the other one. The, the, the Jordan boot? 1? No, yeah. the Jordan 1. Oh. Uh, the, this is the Eastside Golf Jordan 12. Now, this doesn't have a cleat bottom. It's just a regular Air Jordan 12. Like, you could low-key go hoop in these if you wanted to. I don't know if you would or not, but either way, this is a Jordan 12. The materials look really, really nice. I can say that, that the materials look really nice. I'm not 100% sure how I feel well, about no. this colorway. The side profile with the, it's kind of like, you they know. They kind of blew that with the, the, but the swing of the paint. The, 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 the sand. sand coming out, the trap yeah. and everything. Like, I get where they're going. I don't want to be in the sand with those. I get it. <laughs> I understand the elements of the design and all that stuff. I'm just, I'm like, I would never put this as a top 10 Air Jordan 12. Never. Like, there's so many great Jordan 12s. And there's, no. it's not like this is a, because I've seen worse. But it's just not. It's a decent looking shoe. It's solid. Shoe. That's it. Right. It's just a right. solid shoe. Like, that's all yeah. I can say. Like, if I were to rate it, I'd give it like a solid, like. But seven. I'm not going to rush out to go yeah, get I'd it. Yeah, I'd give it like a solid seven. If I could grab them for retail, 200 bucks is retail. Yeah. I think these might have a chance to. But then to it's resell like, them. how many times are you going to wear those? I don't know. That's the thing. It's, so it's like. Like $200, the, you're going to waste it. The whole golf set. <laughs> unless it goes up in value, then it's like you can flip it and trade well, it for well, something yeah, else. Well, yeah, if you have that intent. You know what I'm saying? You but do golfers doing. really sell shoes like that? I don't know. This is a golf shoe right here, actually. <laughs> this is a Jordan brand golf shoe. That's, that's also, clean. So this is coming out with the pack. That's clean. I like that one. So you'll go golfing in these. I will shoes. go golfing. Oh, we golf. Like and I'm better than him. I'm telling you, I would wear those and beat him again. Let's just pause there okay. for a second. He said he was better than me. <laughs> Hey, what is this? <laughs> that's funny. Actually, that's funny. So this right I was. Here, it was. There you go. Now you're getting it. <laughs> the last time we played. <laughs> when? <laughs> okay. No, this is a good looking ago. shoe. Great looking shoe. Uh, it's a cop. So these right here will be a cop out of the For sure. four the, that's that from heel. that pack. Yeah. You got the two pair, the ones, the highs, the lows, and then the 12s and these. That's fine. But I anyway. take the black ones first and then the second. Where's the black ones? What's the ones with the suede? Oh, those navy. Oh, those navy. Yeah, he's colorblind. You know colorblind. Yeah, he will figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> those ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those anyway. are right. <laughs> Okay, so Zion, this is his signature model sneaker number two. How do you feel about the design and the look of this sneaker? I don't like it. <laughs> I think they blew it. The last person who did that was a Mike Vick with that buckle that we liked. Oh yeah, that was hard. Right, when, when Mike Vick had the shoes like that, yeah, that was worth doing, but that right there, no, they did too much. I think they went so far out their way trying to be different. It looked like they tried to add some zooms in there. Some, like they did- a lot going on. Yeah, it's too much I going on. I feel you, I feel no. you. Okay, so this kind of looks like a hiking shoe. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wear that. <laughs> All right, what we got next? What we got? I think honestly though, what no, is that retailer that? I don't know. Let me see. Eighty I think, bucks. I think what the thing is too though, like with shoes like this, they look different in different color patterns. So like right. they got the different with the tan on the front with the lighter tan in the middle, the navy, the blue, the red, like all the different stuff. When you got the different mixtures of materials and it's got so many different patches on the shoe, it's a lot easier when the shoe is just like a solid color with an accent color or something. Right. It makes the shoe look completely different. True. So I think for the color blocking on this, that could be what's hindering the look of the sneaker. Yeah, because that I've seen shoes like that before. That's like oh, I don't know. Which and that's pretty normal you see though. The color I mean, blocking, you're like, I've oh. seen some color blocking in some Jordan ones that I didn't like. Right. 
And then you get the normal colors, you're like, that's dope. And it could be the, and you can also do it in the same colors, but just the wrong black. Or reverse it. Yeah, and it's just like, not black right. is good. Yeah. So the retail on these is $120. A yeah. More affordable. I said 80. So nice basketball <laughs> shoe. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Something solid. For the kids to look up. Okay, for. so next up is going to be one of the most hyped releases of the year. And that is subscribing to the DNA show because. <laughs> 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 right. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Smash. <laughs> nah, but for real though, the next up right here is gonna be the Lost and Found Air Jordan 1. Probably gonna be the biggest, best release of this year. So really? there's gonna be a lot of hype. Everybody's always talking about the pairs that's been leaked through the back door and all the other stuff that's going on. But everybody wants to go after this shoe. Originally it was around a thousand dollars and the price is slowly creeping down. And people are starting to see the price get under that five hundred dollar mark right now and the shoe Ooh. hasn't came out yet. And they're like, could these potentially be like three? But you know what they do and they're gonna drive the price down and then bring they're it right back up. And then it's gonna go crazy. So Pop the shoes, invest. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna invest. be a good hold either way. We all Listen. know that. It's the Chicago <laughs> one. You can't go wrong with this shoe. But either way, the Chicago I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, or life coach or anything else <laughs> don't do it <laughs> no but they are clean they're, they're clean it's a cop so they sure. got like the cracked leather right here yeah. and then they got that on the side so what they try to do on this what shoe, is that on the heel here at the upper so it's like they gave it like the cracked leather vibe like it's oh when OG, they get old like but yeah, they yeah. brought that to life now so they kind of try to give you that like old school and they, with the reason why they called them like the lost and found they wanted to make it be like uh, the shoe was lost at a warehouse and right. it was just sitting there for years and then they found it. So what they did was they- What well, I was gonna make, say, what's on the hill? Is it a Jumpman or is it a Nah, nah, a it's Nike. just Nike Air all, all day is good. So what they did was they created like this box. The look. The look uh, of like back in 85 and they put a random box top on it with some newspaper. And then it has like the receipt, like you bought them from way back in the day. Oh, really? So they kind of went with that Somebody whole gonna thing. Somebody gonna try to get over on that too. It's this crazy. is originals from 86. Right, right, right. <laughs> so they went with the whole thing, kind of like aging the outsoles and stuff. Just giving us that OG rendition. But there's another shoe like that they did with the aged kind of look. They've done a yeah, they've yeah. done a few. So this one in particular though, with it being the Chicago one, the Air Jordan one being one of the most coveted sneakers through sneakerheads right now in right. time. Even though some may say models are different, I think I don't know if I could say that the Jordan 1 is the best model ever. I know a lot of people say, especially back in the day, it was like the Jordan 3 and the Jordan 4. Like those set the tone for him yeah. making the dunk and all the things that he did on the court. And then like right. me remembering the 6s and 11s. And different 3s, 5s, 6s, and 9s, yeah. and 11s. See, you know, you remember that time. So <laughs> you could say, those were the ones. <laughs> Yeah. So it's uh, interesting to see how it's all going to play out, but the Chicago, or should I say Lost and Found Air Jordan 1 is going to be that's gonna be a cop. one of the shoes that's coming out and it's everybody's going to go crazy. Yeah, get it early. Everybody's going to go crazy. So this next one, the Amma Manier Air Jordan 4. This is another one that's going to be considered as one of the best releases of the year. Look at his face. <laughs> These hey, right I here. copped them over the ones right there. <laughs> no, I would cop those over the ones. <laughs> Hey, cause right there, you know I like the gray. Like, I'll rock those. So this is, uh, okay, yeah, he's colorblind, guys. I forgot to tell you. What color is <laughs> he this? He said I like the gray. <laughs> it's not gray? It's like more of like a, they, they call it like a burgundy purple kind of wine well, color. I'll still wear it. He's like, either way, that's <laughs> hard. Yeah, that's hard. But they got um, very, very nice suede materials, yeah. the hang tags. Every time they've done a release, they've come correct. You know they what I'm saying? They changed it a little legit. bit. They got the, oh, let me see if I can show you real quick. You can yeah. just see the materials are extremely yeah, nice clean. on this shoe right here. You got the quilted behind the tongue. Yeah. You got the Nike Air on the back, the little yeah. button on the side, the little, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's overall yeah. just like a nice shoe. Where'd that button come from? I don't know. I think it was just one of their concepts. I don't know the exact reason. Cause we've never seen that before. Yeah, I haven't done the research on why they did that. Um, I will figure that out once we get time for the review because you know I'm going to be getting a pair. Right. <laughs> but I'll, I'll make sure I got all the facts for y'all when the review comes in the near future. So for this one, it's definitely a cop. Definitely a cop. Would you say this might be the best shoe of the year or for sure top three? Top three for sure right okay. now. Okay. Right now. Yeah, we'll go through the top ten later and then I'll yeah, show you. Right and I'll now, let you judge it's in the top it three right now. I'll let you give your opinions in a second. Well, I guess we got another month for that. So. We got a couple more shoes like oh yeah. Ooh. So what do you think about these? Those is clean. The Air Jordan One. So yeah. the the green colorway for me, it's like it's like and a you hit gotta or be miss. a Celtics fan. You yeah, gotta be like a fan. But it's like we're Ducks fans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can do that too. But 
it's just hard because okay so they did the navy colorway right and then they did the bordeaux colorway like the wine kind of colorway and then they got this one and they all same with the silver swoosh with the jewel jump man on the side and everything like that nike air they should have done a green swoosh though so it's like it's it's a clean shoe i'm not mad at it i don't love it i don't hate it like it's just like a solid sneaker. they should have done a green swoosh green swoosh on it it would have took it to another level. Okay, I like that. Because it's dead space in there. What if they know. did a black swoosh on there? They could do black. And made it kind of like the Chicago color black. They end? could do that. that and then you throw some black laces, you get. Add the black on the around yeah. the collar on the back end yeah. too. We That'd designers too. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're designers, therapists, not advisors. Oh wait, no, we're not none of those we're things. We're not, not financial advisors, <laughs> not therapists, <laughs> okay. not designers. Next up, so you know like the Fire Red 3s. They got the Fire Red 9s. This is interesting because they call them the Fire Red 9s, yet there's like a little bit of red on it. And it's like gray. On the it's almost like the cool gray 9s with a little bit of splash of red on it. But For that's me, clean. It's that's a clean shoe. But it's a pass. I gotta, I gotta. No! <laughs> no, you don't pass up on this. <laughs> this right here. Oh my God. The nice, oh, they comfortable to hoop in too. Yeah. And they just a comfortable shoe. And I think right there, they did a very good job. I think it is a solid shoe, but what's the retail? Cause I, my thought, 190 bucks retail, this shoe is going to sit. I think you can get this shoe at a discount. I think it might potentially even hit out. If y'all find this in a 14, let me know with the outlet. <laughs> Speaking of that, what's that, can you grab that box for me? Which one? This. So these, the Jordan 9 always comes in this box right here. As you guys all know, it gives you that classic OG vibe. But this colorway is a little bit different. You could, you could show them real quick. Woo! Y'all remember me seeing it? This is a 14? This is a 14. Don't say 14. I don't know. Is these mine? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all remember me saying I want these? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a win. <laughs> That's kind of off topic, but yes, I got those. Oh, we gotta get back to we gotta get back to what we were talking about. <laughs> Let me sit this right here so y'all know what it is. He's like, yeah, but just hold that right there. <laughs> All right, you guys, we got three more sneakers. Okay, left. let me get back to work. We got <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. We got three more sneakers left. Two of them are the DJ Khaled 5s. You've right. seen these already. Yeah. I showed you yeah. them when I got The materials is good. They're re really nice. If they have the same ones that you had. It's the same shoe. Yeah. Because uh, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> if you guys want to see the full review of the full <laughs> friends and family and all the other colorways, I've done it in the past on the channel. I'll make sure I try to link it for you guys down the, below. The materials are great. They did a really, really nice, nice job. job. Definitely really good. I got some in-hand shots that we're showing right now for the B-roll and stuff for the tan and the um yeah the the crimson bliss so these two right here um out of the two colorways which one do you think you like more out of these two i you know what honestly i like the tan ones i think i think i like the tan ones too i think i would rock the tan ones more just because they just more wearable they more, more wearable like, things yeah and the other ones all whites is more simple like it's 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 not really white, but it's the it's little like white, sale, kind of bone creamy. color, yeah. But I think the tan ones are kill them. Yeah, so with the right outfit, I think yes, it has a little bit of purple and blue on it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you could definitely wear it with a lot more things. But I feel like you could pull some fire fits with the crimson pair. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I'm gonna be posting some pictures with me wearing them soon. I think <laughs> I might post it before the shoes come out so people know because I, I still got. But we'll talk about that later. Either way, we got one more Why shoe. Why people be hating thinking he don't have the shoes? <laughs> This is kills me. <laughs> All right, so next right here, we have the Air Jordan 4. Now this is a grade school size, and this is a shoe that's very interesting. I know you don't know if I said this name of the shoe, but the Union Air Jordan 4, they did, and it looks very similar to this yeah, shoe, yeah. but these are technically not the but Unions. But those are for kids. But this is for kids. They're technically not the Unions, but in my head, this was a scrap design that was made for Union, they said no, so they said, F it, let's just make it for the kids. And then that and way it don't like, coincide still, with that, it. Yep, and then it just don't have lose the logo and branding. Yeah. They're like, well, we can still drop the shoe and have the same yeah. colorway on it and all that stuff. So that's what I kind of think they did. And I think if this was the Union collab or something like that, 
I think this could, again, just like the Jordan 1 with the Travis Scott logo on it, we right. did something like that. I think up. this could be a shoe that could be like, oh, now you know it's a $600 shoe. But then you you take your kids that's getting this, they're going to be happy. They're going to be fly. The parents who bought them too. for them, they thinking, oh, this is real good. More I did affordable. good. Everybody, yeah. Everybody's happy. Yeah, so. It's a I smart think, move. I think it's good. Uh, decision by Jordan Brand. I'm not saying they did that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm but, saying they did that. But it looks like they probably <laughs> did that. <laughs> like, that's all I'm saying. Hey. He can edit it. Take the other picture and put next to this one for what he's saying. Try to do that in your edit and just say, what do y'all think? The unions are these, they look right. the same. I feel like they're the same. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much it if you guys ever want to see any more reviews like this or see him on the channel more often hey, 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 hey. Woo! Oh, <laughs> make sure you guys hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys in another one you know we always do the monthly recaps every single month Man. november is a great one december is gonna have some great drops i'll see you guys soon thanks make sure you subscribe to the channel oh yeah that part <laughs> <laughs> Man, these is clean Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. You see some shoes that ain't been seen before? Like they did. I got some more. I bought some crazy stuff. These right here. Oh, those are.